Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. Guys, we literally just talked about AOC on this show two days ago, and yet she has already given us more content because truly, this woman just lives to be in the spotlight. When all of that stuff with Alex Stein 99 was going on, she tweeted that he was just somebody looking for extremist fame. No, I'm sorry, AOC. You are the one looking for extremist fame. But before we get into it, you guys know the drill. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you are not already, and ring that bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. We have surpassed 800,000 subscribers, which is literally insane because I think we hit 700,000 maybe three weeks ago. Actually, I know it was over 4th of July weekend and we have not even left July yet. You guys are wild. I am so, so grateful. Thank you for being here. Continue sharing the show and being here commenting. I have tons of fun doing this. So it's a wild ride, but I'm happy you guys are here. All right. What is even more wild? is this story. That was so cringe, but I really don't even care. So yesterday, there was yet another abortion rights rally outside of the Capitol because they are not tired of screaming about killing babies yet. Maybe one day they will be. I highly doubt it. But anyway, many, many Democrat leaders were in attendance because obviously, instead of doing actual work for their constituents, they want to protest and make a spectacle and then text you asking for donations. I am looking at you, Senator Warren. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the demonstration started to grow and police had to get involved and start clearing the roads. Here is some footage from the event. The United, we'll Ugh, AFC, there you are, my queen. It's just chaos. First of all, AOC is just having her vocal moment, really leaning into the chant. Whatever band thing is going on, they are off key, off tempo. They did not coordinate this whatsoever. I'm also enjoying her outfit. She is in a winter coat in the middle of July. That seems like a bad decision. But anyway, I digress. The Capitol Police posted this on Twitter. They said demonstrators are starting to block First Street. It is against the law to block traffic, so officers are going to give our standard three warnings before they start making arrests. They continued in this thread saying, you know, the three warnings have been given. We're going to start clearing. We've arrested this many people. So their final one was correction. We made a total of 35 arrests for crowding, obstructing, or incommoding DC code, whatever. Uh, that arrest number includes 17 members of Congress. But right as this was going on, this video of AOC getting escorted out of the demonstration popped up online. Here we go. She's walking. Gotta get her light. Classic fist in the air. So that has 8.8 million views. Miss AOC, you are getting the extremist fame. You are putting yourself right in the spotlight. But let's just, you know, break down this video quickly. She is not even handcuffed. She is walking around pretending like she is, flipping her hair for the perfect angle, getting that light. Her, she looks so smug. I mean, she is literally as fake as vegan meat, which is why you need to try Good Ranchers. They are actually real. They are 100% American grown and they don't subscribe to this woke BS. Good Ranchers cares deeply about providing American families with high quality meat at a reasonable price. And moreover, they love Daily Wire. They sponsor all of our shows. They are huge fans and we we love them here, and so I have gotten a great deal for you. So if you would like to try them out, go to GoodRanchers.com slash Cooper, and you can get $30 off of your order plus free shipping. And I want to see what you guys are making. So if you order Good Ranchers, post it on your story, on your Instagram, tag me and Good Ranchers in it. We are excited to see what you make. I personally made both chicken and steak this week, and I am very excited for my next box to arrive. So I will keep you all updated on what I am cooking because I love real things which is not AOC getting handcuffed. Look at the end of this video. Once she gets her little photo op with her hands behind her back, she turns to the other cameras, to the other side of the people, she raises her fists, she does the BLM social justice warrior whatever pose for another photo op. Now, obviously you don't have to get handcuffed to get escorted out by the cops to get arrested. And maybe he just told her, hey, keep your hands behind your back, keep them visible, but come on. 
Like it is such a media moment. It is literally the fake tears at the fake border all over again. And everyone immediately started calling her on her bullshit, which I was very happy about. Someone said, and yet she managed to shift her hair back into place and keep that smug smirk on her face the entire time. I only hope I could be that brave just once in my life. Me too, James. Me too. Stunning and brave. This person says, I wonder if she'll pretend to be strip searched. Dear God. Another guy says, I'm surprised she didn't just claim that she was killed by the police. Yeah, literally. I mean, it's going to be her January 6th performance all over again. Here's the word. Here's the word. I was murdered. You were murdered. Okay, you obviously weren't murdered because you're alive and you're basically intact. And side note, for someone who claims that they hate the police so much, she seems to be pretty happy being walked out. Great for her brand, apparently, especially since literally three days ago, she called the Capitol Police five times because Alex Stein trolled her. So figure out your messaging, AOC. People online then started saying that the cop who was arresting her, you can see him in that video, resembled Siraj Hashmi, who runs the infamous list on Twitter. And he took that and ran with it. Tim Pool first said, uh, is that Siraj Hashmi arresting AOC? He then retweeted one of the pictures and said, you're welcome. And then he changed his entire profile. He is now Siraj Hashmi, Sheriff of Sharia. He put Tim's comment behind him. He changed his profile picture to be the cop with AOC. It's kind of iconic. And then, of course, because their stories are so intertwined, the greatest love story, people brought Alex Stein into it because obviously AOC is his favorite big booty Latina. Somebody said, where is Alex Stein 99 when you need him? And he commented back and said, on my way to the courthouse to bail her out. And then he retweeted the video of her getting arrested and said, don't worry, baby, I'll bail you right out of jail. And then people started taking the video of him trolling her originally and put it over her arrest video. So it was like, my favorite big booty Latina. And she's like walking away, waving, getting her photo op moment. The internet is just a, a beautiful place. It's just beautiful. They also photoshopped his face on the cop arresting her. Just endless memes. I love it. But there's more to the story. AOC was not the only one there. Like Capitol Police said, 70 members of Congress were arrested, 16 women, one man, and they also created their own kind of spectacle. Here's Ilhan Omar apparently arresting and escorting herself out of the protest. So there's AOC walking. She got the fist up. There we go. What is she doing? Like, I'm just gonna, I'll take myself out. Goodbye. She's also not in handcuffs because end of the video, she lifts her fist. So this <laughs> is just ridiculous. She sadly did not get her Sheriff Siraj escort out of the protest, but by golly, she was going to get her photo up if it meant that she had to arrest herself, which apparently she did. She also is not handcuffed, like I pointed out when we watched the video, because at the end, she raises her fists, but the reporter who posted this asserted she was. It goes, breaking, she was arrested. You are fake news. Yeah, and she had to issue a correction like five minutes later because everybody on the internet was going, I'm sorry, are you daft? And they wonder why we don't trust the media. Thank you very much. You literally just exposed yourself. Now, last but not least, this was the one congressman in attendance. Rep Andy Levin, I think he's from Maine, and just watch this. So this is just a short video showing him talking to the press. The caption says, as protesters wait to leave, Rep. Andy Levin tells gathered press that the Senate must abolish the filibuster and force through abortion legislation. So they're all saying right now. But just look at what he's done with his pro-abortion bandana. Does he look familiar to you? I'm Prison Mike. It is literally Prison Mike. And thankfully, I was not the only one who realized that. Somebody took a screenshot from another angle and said, the worst thing about prison was the Dementors. Now, in addition to the countless screenshots of Prison Mike, somebody else had a different opinion and said, why is he in an elf costume? Somebody else said, produced reality TV show. I say this all the time, but politics truly is reality TV. It is theater. It is whatever you want to call it. It is produced for our outrage and our entertainment because they do everything for show. And this was the Democrats, but it's on both sides of the political aisle. Nobody is excused from it, except Rand Paul. I love you, Rand Paul. You do no wrong in my eyes. And it makes sense because it is how they get media attention so that they can get more donations. They can get more votes. They can get more expensive speaking engagements. They can get more book deals, whatever, yada, yada, yada. It's all a game to them. And I don't know if we can change that anytime soon. So the best thing that we can do is just be aware of it, attempt to hold them accountable, vote them out, 
And the best thing is to be able to laugh at it. Because if we're not having fun, if we're not laughing at all of this ridiculousness, it's just going to be depressing and we're going to feel like we have no power and there is no hope. So at least we can find some comedy. At least there is content for me. And I get to keep my head above water. Because if not, I would probably be very sad that these are the people that somehow we have elected to represent us. So let's just focus on voting the reality TV show stars out. That would be a great first step. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.